The security of our financial and other personal information is a continuing concern in everyday life. The personal identification number, or PIN as it's more commonly known, associated with your chip and PIN card is the safeguard that it can only be used by you. When your chip and PIN card is in use, in a payment terminal or in a cash machine, there are numbers at work in more profound ways, verifying the PIN and then disguising the information transmitted between you and your bank so that the communication of your financial information is protected. The mathematics at work here was not developed recently or with information security in mind. Much was developed within pure research into number theory, abstract algebra, information theory and complexity theory. The design and implementation of secure communication systems, known as cryptography, is a vital and challenging part of modern mathematics, requiring both new ideas and the innovative use of old ideas. Public key cryptography, as developed in the late 20th century, made ingenious use of 19th century mathematics the number theory of modular arithmetic that was there, ready and waiting. Our reliance on passwords and pins means we have to rely on hidden mathematics within the systems in order to keep things secure. The mathematics that we use must continue to meet the ingenuity and requirements of the code makers who are designing better secrecy systems and be able to defeat the hackers and thieves who are after our information and our money. The new ideas and the new uses of old ideas will come from continuing research in areas such as abstract algebra, which is my own area of research at Harriet Watt University. Algebra can help us keep our secrets, but it's no secret that I am an algebraist. <laughs>